I hope to no day ever put my foot in my mouth as far as Cam Newton put his foot in his mouth. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cup, and I pass a lot to my bro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. and seeing your receivers play well. Devin Funches has seemed to really embrace the physicality of his routes and, and making, getting those extra yards. Does that give you a little bit of an enjoyment to see him kind of trust taking people out there? It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like, it's funny. But uh, fun is coming along, man. We're going we're gonna, to – this is a big game for him because of, you know, him being from Detroit and um, – you know, I know he wants this win extremely bad. And just to see his growth over the years, completely different player. I mean, not just on the field. And, uh, you know, I told him and Benji today, you know, those those guys, preparation has been different this year. And, um, you know, credit the coaching for it, um, you know, and, and, and. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Hey, before the video even start, Hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. All right. Look, man. We, we're never going to... Although there are, there are many athletes who are just absolutely intelligent. And first of all, to be able to do most of the things as far as scheme-wise that a quarterback has to do when he's, uh, you know, actually playing and when he's... um you know, going over the game plan or whatever, there's there's a certain level of intelligence that you actually have. Like, let's, let's not be confused about that. This this whole Cam Newton thing isn't because he's a dumb jock. So stop it, whoever's thinking that. It, is he sexist? It was a very sexist and stupid statement. I'm not standing behind anything that Cam Newton said right there. He was just, but I think he was flirting. <laughs> be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, let's keep it a buck. You know, uh, where they're at, you got to be professional. And if he wanted to flirt with her, he should not have done it in, if if this was flirting. He should have not done it in front of America. And um, don't he have a girlfriend? I mean, I don't know. I never see him with a girl, but and I always see him dressing extremely flamboyantly. So, but, you know, just because you don't see somebody with a female, that doesn't mean that they don't have one. You, you know, that one thing has nothing to do with the other. Some people like to keep their personal life private or their private life private or their private life personal or whichever which one of those ways mean that they don't go about floating everything inside of their private life to the public whichever which one of those that that means so this might be the case with cam i don't know but um it looked it it looked to me like she asked him a good question and he was stalling that's what it looked like to me. He was stalling and he was kind of flirting maybe. Or he was trying to come off as flirting, should I say. Um, I don't know. It's just stupid shit. Um, not for nothing, but any of them racists that now want to talk about, oh, and 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 uh, about has anything to say about people kneeling, Cam didn't kneel. So don't try to attach any of the nail in the cam. Cam didn't nail. Cam ain't gonna nail. Cam is gonna be the new age Ray Lewis when he gets when he stops playing. He's gonna be one of the greatest players ever to have played the game. And at the same time, he's gonna probably be cooning. Let's just keep it a buck. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you can see it in him already. He's gonna be cooning. You see how he dress? He's trying too hard to fit into something, a square peg into a round hole. Whenever you got anyone, whether it be man, woman, um, cat, dog, trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, then they're usually trying to go against whatever the traditional values or the traditional beliefs of the values in which they would normally have. So, or it is believed that they would normally have. So, I look to, for Cam to, and there's nothing wrong with marrying a white woman. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I look for Cam to marry a white woman. I look 
to seek it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not trying to say this is as like a racist thing. I'm trying to say I just don't see Cam as somebody who's going to kneel. That, that's basically what I'm saying. I just, I, I, I see him more to explain away a cop killing somebody, uh, although I'm not saying that he's done that neither, than a kneeler. So, point being, all of these people that are going all over Twitter talking about, hey, these athletes, and they're talking about kneeling, and then this guy is doing that, and look how he's just talking about this this woman, like, she can't have the job. Okay, obviously, she asked a good question. She's competent. I know plenty of females who's competent about sports, okay? Boxing, um, football, especially baseball. Baseball, especially baseball, because I know quite a few females that played softball so baseball is just like second nature basketball like just just because you're a female i know dudes that don't know nothing about any sports okay i had a dude tell me the other day uh, just the, some of the most craziest stuff like um for some strange reason some people don't think dominique wilkins is a hall of famer i don't get that and I, I know other people that don't think carmelo anthony is a good player at all these are men. So, you know, being an idiot in sports has absolutely nothing to do with gender is my is my position. But um, Cam is not one of the guys that's going to, he's not going to cause any ruffles. He's not going to do any of that. This was not on purpose. It was by accident. He wanted to answer her question. I think he was trying to buy himself time. I think she caught him off guard. And I think he thinks that she's cute. And he just had a man moment. Y'all know what a man moment is, right? A man moment is... When we're supposed to be 100% serious about something and a, an attractive female or a female that we think, I don't know how she looks, but a female that we might think is attractive catches absolutely, totally off guard and we have no way to respond appropriately. That's what happened. He just didn't have the ability to respond appropriately. I'm not trying to make no excuses for him. Don't get, don't, don't get it confused. That shit was stupid. But, um... Yeah, so this is the, the new thing they have distracting us from the rest of the world right now. We're going to be talking about Cam for like three or four weeks, maybe. But, um, come on, man. Let's just keep it a buck. He was, he just, he just misspoke. <laughs> he just misspoke. I mean, Cam is like the most white breadedest athlete we have. He does everything that... <sighs> It's like he wants to be the, the spokesman for every product. He does everything that you can ask. He just talks too much. Like, Derek Jeter was the, the freaking... That's the way athletes or That's the way a certain part of our culture prefer athletes to be. You know, Derek Jeter, he's a legend. But he never talked too much. He never said enough. He never said too much. And he always said enough. And you no, know, maybe Cam should attempt to do that as lately or in the future, uh, in the in the in the near future, because it is absolute obvious that Cam is just I don't know what's going on with him, but um he's wearing onesies, he's he's saying sexist stuff to women. Oh man, I be on Twitter and I'm letting you know right now the freaking feminists they're just they, this happened and they must they probably all I'm talking about the extreme feminists I'm not talking about the women that want women rights for everybody because um females should have the same rights as men period they should get the same pay period if you're doing the same job you should get the same pay no matter what gender you are no matter if you what gender you are no matter if you had gender change surgery I don't know how to say that but uh, whatever if you're doing a job, you should get paid whatever everybody else is getting paid for doing that job. Just because you're a woman, you shouldn't be taken like you know less about something and a man knows more about it because he got that testosterone. Nah, that's 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 comical. That lot is crazy. But at the same time, when you have an individual who obviously says something real stupid, sometimes we just got to be like, oh man, he just said something stupid and... Sometimes people say stupid shit. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, I want to know what y'all think about this. I mean, I just went on for like eight minutes about, you know. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just thought it was hilarious. But, um, yeah, we, we, do have, we do need to change in our culture, not for nothing. Um, I know it's hard for women, especially in sports, especially uh, reporting in sports. It's hard for them 
to be taken seriously and I don't want to make light of any of their situations because there's places where it's hard for men, you know, black men and specifically I'm talking about to uh, be taken seriously. So um, he needs to come out. He needs to apologize publicly. He needs to publicly apologize. And um, after he does that, then this ain't like, you know, he didn't murder anybody. After he publicly apologizes, people should leave him alone about this. You know, like realistically, he can't apologize and everybody still want to throw it in his face. That's crazy. And all of these um racists that want to talk about, oh, look at this guy. And then try to attribute kneeling to somebody who doesn't kneel in the first place. Like, stop it. That's also crazy. Like, you know, stop trying to piggyback. But um, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bombs Bombers. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Like, especially the women. Especially all females that I have that uh subscribe to this channel even if you don't subscribe you should be subscribing i'm kind of cool but even if you don't subscribe i want to know what y'all guys think about this and everybody add me on twitter because i'm about to start having polls about to start having polls i'm about to start having polls in november so i want everybody to add me on twitter because I, I want to get some feedback from y'all on the polls and that's gonna probably dictate some of the stories that i start covering and uh you know, a couple of other things that has to do with the channel. So, like, comment, subscribe, like I just said. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Y'all love y'all. Keep each other safe. That's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.